Mikey, did you see that beautiful girl walking towards the store? I really like her, but I'm too shy to talk to her. Are you serious, JJ? You should definitely go and introduce yeah. yourself. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, Mikey. I'm not good at talking to strangers, especially someone as pretty as her. What if she thinks I'm weird or something? Come on, JJ. You won't know unless you try. Just be yourself, say hi, ask her how she's doing, and take it from there. You can do this. But what if she ignores me or isn't interested? <sighs> All right, Mikey, I'll give it a try. But if this goes horribly wrong, you owe me a big favor. Here goes nothing. You got this, JJ. Just be cool, be yourself, and everything will be fine. Remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Good luck, man. Thanks, Mikey. I really hope this goes well. Wish me luck. Here I go. All right, Mikey. I'm at the entrance of the store. I'm really nervous. She's inside, and I don't know if I should wait or just go in. JJ, you should definitely wait. Take a few deep breaths and relax. When she comes out? Excuse me, hi, I saw you going into the store and I just wanted to say that you look really nice today. My name is JJ, by the way. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm not interested. Please don't take it personally. Oh, I understand. I'm sorry to bother you. Have a nice day. You too, goodbye. She was very straightforward. She said she's not interested and asked me not to take it personally. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. I'm sorry to hear that, JJ, but you did great by just approaching her. It takes a lot of courage and I'm proud of you for trying. There will be other opportunities Thanks, Mikey. I appreciate your support. It was worth a try, and I'll keep that in mind for next time. I can't believe this, Mikey. I feel so embarrassed and rejected. I tried my best, but she just wasn't interested. Hey, JJ, it's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. You were brave enough to try, and that's what matters. Come on, let's go home. I have an idea that might cheer you up. Really, Mikey? What kind of idea? I don't know if anything can make me feel better right now. Trust me, JJ. I was thinking, if we can make her see you as a hero, she might change her mind. How about we dig a small hole in our yard, and then we can make sure she falls into it accidentally. You can then rescue her, and she might start liking you. Mikey, I really appreciate your help and support. Let's make this plan work and turn things around. Absolutely, JJ. Let's get to work and make sure everything goes perfectly. This is your chance to win her over. All right, Mikey. I'm starting to dig the hole. I hope this plan works. I'm really nervous about this, but I trust you. You're doing great, JJ. Just keep digging and we'll make sure everything is perfect. This plan is going to be amazing and she'll definitely notice you. This is harder than I thought. The ground is pretty tough, but I'm not giving up. I really want this to work, Mikey. Keep going, JJ. We're almost there. Once the hole is deep enough, we'll cover it lightly so she won't see it. When she falls in, you'll be right there to help her. All right, the hole is getting there. I think a few more minutes and it will be ready. I'm really hoping this plan doesn't backfire on us. Don't worry, JJ. We're doing this with good intentions. You're going to be her hero and everything will work out just fine. Hmm. Okay, Mikey, I think the hole is deep enough now. What do you think? Should we cover it with some leaves and branches? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Let's make sure it looks natural so she doesn't suspect anything. You're doing great, JJ. This plan is going to work. All right, Mikey. I'm covering the hole with this fake grass. It looks pretty convincing. I hope she doesn't notice anything suspicious. That's perfect, JJ. Just make sure it blends in with the rest of the yard. Once she steps on it, it should give way just enough for you to be her hero. Mikey, that's her house over there. I can't believe I'm actually considering this. This is really crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty wild, JJ. But we're here now, so let's just see what happens. Look, she's inside the bathroom. We shouldn't be looking. This is really wrong. We should leave before she notices us. You're right, JJ. We don't want to be creeps. Let's get out of here before... I mean, what if someone caught us? This could get really bad. We should just go and think of another way to impress her. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? Get back here! Oh no, she saw us! Run, Mikey! We have to get out of here now! Go, JJ, go! We need to get as far away as possible before she catches us. This is a disaster! What are you doing here? Why were you spying on me? Explain yourselves! I'm so sorry. It's not what it looks like. I really like you, and I didn't know how else to get your attention. I know it was wrong. You think spying on me is the way to get my attention? That's disgusting! I can't believe you did this! You two are in big trouble. Wait, please. We're really sorry. We didn't mean any harm. It was a stupid mistake. Oh, what the? I'm really sorry. We didn't mean for it to end like this. We just wanted to talk to you. Please, let us help you out. Get me out of here. And after this, I don't want to see either of you ever again. You two are in so much trouble. Here, take this block. You can use it to climb out. We're really sorry about all of this. Thanks. This whole situation is unbelievable. I can't believe you thought any of this was a good idea. We know it was wrong. We just didn't know what else to do. 
We wanted to make things right, but we messed up. Well, you definitely messed up. This is not how you get someone's attention. It's creepy and invasive. I don't want to see either of you again. I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt or scare you. I just didn't know how to approach you. Please forgive me. I can't believe how badly this went, Mikey. I just wanted her to notice me, and now she hates us. I know, JJ. We really messed up this time. But don't be too hard on yourself. We'll figure out a better way next time. I can't believe how badly this went, Mikey. I just wanted her to notice me, and now she hates us. I know, JJ, but I have a new idea. Let's go to the park and find a rat. With the help of this rat, we can gain her trust. A rat? What are you talking about, Mikey? How is that going to help? Listen, we'll find a rat, then we'll sneak it into her house. When she sees it, she'll freak out, and you can heroically save her from it. She'll be so grateful. It sounds a bit crazy, but after everything that's happened, I'm willing to try anything. Let's do it. Look, JJ, over there by the trash can, there's a rat eating a piece of pizza. This is our chance. I see it. Let's carefully approach and grab it with the pizza. We need to be quick and gentle. All right. I've got the pizza. Come here, little rat. We won't hurt you. Just need your help for a bit. Got it, Mikey. We have the rat. Now let's head to her house and set this plan in motion. I really hope this works. JJ, this has to work. Let's be quick and quiet. Once she sees the rat, you'll come to the rescue and be her hero. All right, Mikey. Let's do this. I'm ready. Let's make sure this goes perfectly. Absolutely. Let's head to her house and set the plan in motion. This time, it's going to work. All right, Mikey, we've got the rat and the pizza. Now, how do we get this plan in motion without getting caught? First, we need to make our way to her house without drawing any attention. We'll have to be sneaky and avoid any busy streets. All right, Mikey, we're almost there. This is it. Are you ready to put the plan into action? Yeah, JJ, I'm ready. Let's go up to her door and ring the bell. We'll ask to come in, and then we'll set the plan in motion. I hope she lets us in. This has to work. I can't mess this up again. Don't worry, JJ. Just be confident and polite. We'll make it work. Let's go. What are you two doing here? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm really sorry about everything that happened before. We just wanted to apologize in person. Can we come in for a moment? I guess, but this better not be another one of your weird schemes. Come in. What the? There's a rat in my house. Help! Don't worry, I've got this. Stand back. I'll get rid of it for you. There it is, Mikey. The rat is right by the couch. I'm going in. Be careful, JJ. Make sure you grab it securely. We don't want it to get away. Got it. I've got the rat. It's OK. I've got you now, little guy. Everything is under control. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I was so scared. How did that even get in here? I'm just glad I could help. I'm really sorry about all the trouble we caused before. We never meant any harm. Are you all right? Wait a minute. I just realized something. You two brought this rat into my house, didn't you? You thought you could fool me? Please, let me explain. We just wanted to make things right after everything that happened. We thought this would be a way to show you we could be helpful. It was a terrible idea, and I'm really, really sorry. Let's go, Mikey. We really messed this up, and there's nothing we can do to fix it now. I just hope we can learn from this and become better people in the future. This was a harsh lesson to learn. You're right, JJ. We made a huge mistake and we need to own up to it. Let's just go home and think about what we've done. Maybe this experience will help us grow and avoid such foolish actions in the future. Mikey, look over there, it's her. I can't believe we ran into her again, especially after everything that happened. This is so awkward, what should we do? Maybe we should just leave before she sees us. I know, JJ, this is definitely unexpected, but maybe this is our chance to truly apologize. We can't keep running away from our mistakes. Let's just be honest with her and show that we're really sorry. What are you two doing here? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Why can't you just leave me alone? What do you want now? We're really sorry for everything that happened before. We came here just to relax, not to bother you. But now that we've run into you, I really want to apologize for our actions. I was wrong and truly regret it. I appreciate the apology, but it's going to take more than words to fix this. We understand, and we're deeply sorry for that. Help! I can't swim! Someone please help me! I'm drowning! Hang on! I'm coming to save you! Just hold on! 
Mikey, call for help if you can. I'm going in. I've got you. Don't panic. I'm here to help. Just hold on to me and I'll get you to shore safely. Everything is going to be all right. Thank you so much. I was so scared. I thought I was going to drown. You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. I'm just glad you're safe. That's all that matters right now. Let's get you to dry land and then we can talk more. You're going to be fine. JJ, you did it. You saved her. Let's get her a towel and make sure she's okay. Thank you so much. I was so scared. I thought I was going to drown. You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. There's no need to thank me. I'm just glad I could help. Please take care of yourself. We'll let you get home and rest now. Yeah, take care. We're really sorry for everything that happened before. We hope this shows we genuinely care. Have a safe trip home. That was intense, Mikey. I can't believe we actually saved her. Maybe this is a fresh start. Let's get home and have that pizza we found. You did an amazing job, JJ. This could definitely be a turning point. Let's get home and enjoy that pizza. And don't worry, the rat is long gone. Sounds like a plan. I'm really hungry after all that. It's crazy how things turned out today. Let's just relax and enjoy the evening. Yeah! This pizza is actually pretty good. I can't believe this. My house has been destroyed and now it's so small. How did this even happen? Everything I own is ruined. This is a nightmare. What am I going to do? I have nowhere to go. All my things, my memories, everything is gone. How could this happen to me? Why is this happening? I can't stop crying. This is the worst day of my life. Maybe, maybe I should go to Mikey and JJ. They did save me after all. I don't have anyone else to turn to. But what if they don't want to help me? What if they're still upset with me? I'll go to their place and ask. I have to. I don't have any other choice. I still can't believe how good this pizza is, Mikey. Who knew we'd end up with such a great find after all the craziness today? JJ, Mikey, I need to talk to you. Something terrible has happened. My house, it somehow got reduced to a tiny size. Everything is ruined and I have nowhere to go. What? That's horrible. Of course, you can stay with us. We have plenty of room. Don't worry, we'll figure this out together. I'm just so grateful. I didn't expect you to be so kind after everything. And JJ, I have to tell you something important. I've realized that I have feelings for you. I love you, JJ. You? You love me? I can't believe it. I've liked you for so long, but I never thought you'd feel the same way. This means so much to me. Yes, I do. And I'm so sorry for everything that happened before. Mikey, I've been thinking. Since she needs a place to stay and we don't have much room, it might be best if you find somewhere else for a while. I'm really sorry, but there's just no other way. Wait, what? You're kicking me out? After everything we've been through? I can't believe this, JJ. JJ, are you sure about this? I didn't mean to cause any trouble between you two. Maybe I should find somewhere else to stay. No, it's not your fault. I made this decision. You're safe here and that's what matters. Mikey will understand eventually. I just hope he forgives me. I can't believe I just did that. Kicking Mikey out of our place was such a terrible thing to do. He's been my best friend through everything. And now I've just pushed him away. What was I hmm. thinking? Mikey has always been there for me, no matter what. And now, because of my decision, he's out there on his own. This isn't right. Wait a minute. Where is she going? Is she heading towards Mikey? What could he possibly want to show her? This can't be happening. I hope Mikey isn't planning to tell her everything about our schemes. Mikey wouldn't betray me like that, would he? I mean, we've been through so much together. He's upset, but he wouldn't throw me under the bus, right? This is driving me crazy. I can't believe I'm even thinking this. Mikey has always been loyal, but what if he's too angry this time? What if he tells her everything about our plans and ideas? I can't let that happen. I need to do something. I can't just sit here and wait for the worst. I have to find out what's going on. If Mikey tells her everything, it could ruin everything. Maybe I should go over there and see what's happening. But if I confront them, it could make things worse. I'm so torn right now. What's the right move here? JJ, I need to talk to you. I know everything now. Mikey told me the whole truth about all the schemes and plans you two had. I can't believe you lied to me. Wait, what? Mikey told you everything? I can explain. We never meant for things to go this far. It was all a mistake, and I'm really sorry. I can't believe this is happening. She's gone, and it's all my fault. How could I have been so stupid? I've lost her and my best friend in one go. Mikey, you were right all along. I should have been honest from the start. Now you have her, and I'm left with nothing. I hope you both find the happiness I couldn't give. 